Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. All right, we're going to address a preliminary examination that was scheduled for this afternoon, the matter of John William Cap. The file number is 232351FY. Mr. Cap is charged with larceny in excess of $1,000 for stealing some high quality steel from Clark Logic, allegedly, um, and then conspiring with another to do the same. Yeah. Yes? If I may, there's some uh, I guess things I need to address. All right, well, right now I'm just stating the premises. As a fourth habitual offender, and the matter was set for preliminary examination today at one. Uh, Mr. Cap wasn't here. Uh, there were witnesses here, and the police officers were here on overtime. And Mr. Marvin asked at about 1:55 if he could release his witnesses, and I said that he could. Um, I indicated that Mr. Cap recently has not been showing up on the right date or time for his cases. The last two cases, I believe, we got. We deal with them at the scheduled time. So I asked Ms. Halleck to attempt to call him. She did call and try to leave a message. At 2.20, Mr. Kapp uh, came here into the courtroom and we then attempted to locate his lawyer, Ms. Halleck, who fortunately was still here at the courthouse. Uh, he posted a bond, a $7,500 cash or surety bond, I issued a $10,000 bond on a new bench warrant with a 48 hour hold. So the defendant's certainly here within 48 hours. All right, Ms. Halleck, what's the status here? Well, Your Honor, it's unresolved. However, um, just yesterday, I formally accepted an offer to go work as an assistant prosecutor under our chief prosecutor, Dave Marvin. And I am in the process of conflicting myself out of my pending criminal cases and matters. I have advised my client of that and let him know my set start date is not until March 4th. Um, and so- So I, is your intention to withdraw from every pending case that you have? I don't have many. Um, in circuit court, I, I believe that is the preference. I well, I guess I see your point in this case. If we have a preliminary examination, Correct. You have an attorney client privilege with the defendant. And at that point, all right, Mr. Kapp, um, a lot of this stuff happened while I was gone. I've been on a trip and I got back and some things have transpired and I'm just getting caught up to speed. But Ms. Halleck raised a very good point. Apparently within a month, she's going to be an assistant prosecutor. So... Uh, you're late, you're late, but you're not, not here. So I'm going to recall the bench warrant. I'm going to appoint new counsel for the defendant and reset the pre-exam or prelim for two weeks from today, which would be February 13th. That's Make sure I got that down. right. That, that isn't right. Um, because that's it's odd even. So I'm going to set it for February 20th. All right, Mr. Cap, when we talked last time, you're still at the 9th Street address, okay. correct? All right, if you're going to be late, call the court. Our open line is open all the time, or call your lawyer. But um, Ms. Halleck uh, raises a good point, and uh, she certainly is a ethical attorney. She's not going to disclose anything that you have discussed once the matter is bound over to the circuit court. In fact, at that point, Mr. Marvin may need to explore getting a special prosecutor in general if the matter is not resolved. But um, nonetheless, uh, I'm going to get a new lawyer for you and reset it. Show up on time. I want you to call your new lawyer, make an appointment to discuss this with them. Um, 
the bench warrant is recalled. I found it late, but does appear. I paid on my fines as well. I appreciate that. A little bit at a time. All right, I'll ask the bills to take you out. You're good to go.